All right, we're back, I think. Good lord. Lost internet there. Let's see. We'll at least finish up this quest before we call it, because I'm pretty curious as to how it goes. Get back up in there. I did not go into the cellar. It just kind of stayed put once we... Well, I guess, yeah, I couldn't have even done it if I wanted to, right? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, we'll check out inside of here. Let's see what's up. Here we are. Good. Okay, back at it. Let's go into the creepy basement. See what's up. There we are. The cellar. Good. Oh, we were down in here before. Yeah, this is where we fought what's her butt. Either that or it was one that looked just like it. Which, you know what? Fair enough. Have similar looking basements. Why not? Okay. There we go. Easy enough. There we are. What will we do with the creature, though? Yeah, will it go into his widow now? Hmm. Oh, look at these boxes. Some ginseng in there. Hmm. Yeah, why did he have all this shit down here? Oh, I guess because he was a slaver, right? Yeah. Fuck him. Okay. Let's see. Got coffee there. Head on through this. How do you even stop this creature? Is this going to become like a big, weird arc? Wow, did you see how it loaded in shit there? Oh no, Ulav! <gasps> Look, his arm is hurt. It's in him now, too. I heard Ruvali scream. Nobody's talking. She said you chased it down here. I took a swing at it, but it got away. Is Ruvali safe? She's upstairs crying over her husband's corpse. Go on up there. If her husband starts to move, kill him with fire. All right, goodbye. You're lucky I'm a dragon knight. <laughs> I don't think any of the other classes necessarily have fire. I guess you need you could have like a fire destruction staff. All right. Dude, this thing is totally going to go inside of her and kill her too. Okay. And what's up? And you know what? It seems kind of sad right now, but they own slaves. Fuck them. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. Expand the plantation. We wanted to trade the useless catmen for some strong Bretons and red guards. <laughs> Jesus. Do you want this idol? I want nothing that belonged to that dirty catman, Rashada. He brought that monster here. He must know a way to send it back. The catman's inside the barn in the center of the plantation. Maybe he stayed to watch his monster tear us apart. Wicked animal. Here. Take the idol. I don't want it near me. Stay here. I'll talk to the Khajiit. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, really, fuck him. Maybe... Yeah, we'll finish this quest arc before we close things out for tonight. I'm really curious where it all leads. Let's head over here. Good. Okay. Rashada. Oh, inside of this barn. Oh yeah, there you are. Huh. Sneak by these dudes. I don't think we get any XP for sneaking, right? No such thing in the ESO land. Okay. Hey, Rashada. You bring Rashada the idol at the Hollow Moon, yes? Moons guide you, stranger. This is totally one of the same voice actors from Skyrim, isn't it? They totally were able to get the same dude back. Huh. I wonder how much they cost. Weird. It always shocks me when some of the vo voice actors and shit repeat. Because I would assume that, like, they tried to keep budget down since MMOs are so fucking expensive to develop and maintain. 
given, you know, the MMO nature of it all. Anyway, is it true that you summoned that monster? Yes, Rashada's beautiful wife is most precious Jazadi. Their lashes stripped her fur to the bone. She died from their torture. That is why this one called the Drumathra. Rashada regrets this. Trading hate only brings more suffering. Hmm, what's a Dromathra? If Rashada had many knights, he could explain. We integrate Tamriel's gods with our own so we can blend in. We also do this to amuse ourselves. Mm. But there are Khajiiti spirits outside Tamriel's pantheon. Dark spirits, they are Dromathra. Well, how do we stop this one? Use the idol on the dark spirits, then kill them to charge it. While you hold the idol, anything that possesses you will cease to be. This is how we stop the monster. This one must apologize to Rivali. Meet us in her eh. home when the idol is charged. I don't know. Fuck that. I don't know. I mean, I could see, yeah, maybe put an end to it because the fucking creature, the Dromothra, might get out and start infecting people who are not relevant to what's going on, right? But I wouldn't fucking apologize to her. Shit. Let's see. Use the idol on spirits and kill them. It's not a usable item, is it? I don't think so. Let's see. Inventory items here, quest. Yeah, it'll just come up at some point somehow. Okay, let's get them. Boom. Oh, there it is. Use the idol of the hollow moon. Oh, do I have to kill them while they're having this weird glow? That would make sense. Cool. Oh. No, I think it showed up at the last minute. Okay, let's try it again. Huh. See, can I activate it again? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah. I, it must have worn off. I didn't even notice. Okay. We have an idea of what to do now. Oh, look. There's one back here. There we go. Jeez, yo, what were you saying? Oh my god. Going into the Satan mode. Got some sack over here with Isenglass. Nothing else. Okay. Just need a couple more. There we are. Oh, there we are. Cool. <laughs> Just in time. Goodness, I was quite close on that one. Okay, where are the last ones that we need? Hmm. Oh, look. Some fallen apples. Too bad I can't just eat them. Okay. Let's do shields up here. And... Let's see. I don't really want to pull these two, but I guess we're going to have to, right? Let's get the Ravager first, because I think they're casters. Alright. Oh, fuck. Oh, I'm stunned. You're gonna die. Please don't die before I activate my shit on you. There we go. Good. Good. Turn back on this thing. Oh, it's not ready yet. There we go. Okay. Now we're good to go. Great. Oh. DXXDYY is saying hello. Hi. Welcome. The stream went down earlier. Lost internet for like a minute or so. Let's see. Let's bring up our map. Volley's home. Head over here. Go up this way. Lazy Mistress Heaven. What a wild ass name. <laughs> All right. 
up in here. Oh no, on the top floor. Oh, you know what? I should check this store out and see if any of the things are on sale to pick up. Oh look, Skull of Corruption. Huh. I don't really have a preference for the Skull of Corruption though. How's it look? Yeah, it looks about right. Okay. Let's see. Chapters, anything here on sale? No, that's the big shit. DLC. Hmm. No, nothing seemed to be discounted. I wonder when their next big sale thing is going to be. Like, when's their anniversary event? I do not know. Okay. Ravali? Rashad asked to be forgiven. The beast blathered about understanding and change. The animal responsible for the death of my Tyrell dared to address me. He spoke of peace. He spoke of his dead wife and his tortured people. He's mimicking sorrow. But Khajiit are incapable of normal emotions. Right? Jesus Christ. Look at my sweet Tyrell. Rashada must pay for Tyrell's death. You agree with me, right? I know Rashada genuinely mourns his wife. I don't like the idea of pitying her. Like, she, she's such fucking garbage. I don't even know if, if I like the idea of Rashada wanting to, like, apologize to her. Like, I don't know. Fuck that. <laughs> I feel like Rashada did good. Especially since the creature hasn't gotten out and fucked up anyone else beyond the fucked up plantation, right? Hmm. Okay. I know Rashada genuinely mourns his wife. You believe that? But my Tyrell. Enough. Enough death. Where is Rashada now? The cat went to the stables. Tell Ulov to meet us there. Rashada wanted you to use the totem on some godless altar east of the pumpkin patch. Once you've found Ulov and used the totem, meet us at the stables. Did he say why I must use the altar? He said the ritual would protect you. If you kill the creature while holding the charged totem, it will be destroyed when it tries to possess you. I don't know whether to believe him or not. Hmm. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> fuck them! Hey, Ulov. Fuck these people, huh? Right? I saw Khajiit run out the door. What's going on? That's Rashada. He has a plan to slay the monster. Go to the stables and wait for him. I'm taking orders from a milk-drinking pup and a cat. <laughs> this should be amusing. I'll be there. What a fucking weirdo. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> There's fucking milk drinkers. <laughs> I need to work into calling people milk drinkers more in real life. <laughs> it just seems too fucking rich. <laughs> you fucking milk drinkers. Look at this asshole. Come on, you fucking milk drinker. <laughs> Instead of saying like, Oh, you're busting my balls here, pal. Be like, Oh, come on, man. You're drinking my milk. You're, dr <laughs> you're drinking my milk. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Let's see. Head on over here. Good. Now, it's probably, yeah, it must be, yeah, the fun little shrine thing that we saw earlier. Oh, lunar altar. Ooh. Oh no, my left arm. Oh no, my tummy. Oh, into the stables. Okay. Where in the world are the stables? Right over there. Oh, look, it's Jakur. I didn't even notice the last time. Sneak by him through the pumpkin patch. Good, good, good. Okay. Hey, look, everybody's in here. I've got to get out of here. Did you tie this fucking guy up? What the fuck is wrong with you? Jesus. Why should I care about his wife's death? Look at him. He's an animal. He's the enemy. God, can I just, like, sucker punch her? He took my tear. Where is Ulov? I didn't see him when I arrived. 
But he must oh. have been here. Rashada was already bound. Ulov must have... Wait. <gasps> Ulov? Oh, no. Ulov became the drum Theron or whatever it's called. Oh, my God. No, Ulov, you beautiful bald bastard. Oh, shit. Why do they always run into the basement? Huh. That's so bizarre. Rather than, like, fight you head on, they, they run away. Oh, shit. Whoops. Wait, what? Uh-oh. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, he's right here. Okay. I'm dumb. <laughs> All right. Let's go, dude. Let's see, what's my other ult? Oh, I don't even have one socketed there. I need to amend that, don't I? There we are. Good. Hey, the creature didn't come out of him. I guess it's dead dead. Ugh. The acid shit is pretty gnarly, huh? Anything else around here? No. Alright. Let's do it. Up and over. Hey, Rilavi. My hands are betraying me. I can't believe I listened to you. Did you kill that monster? Ulav is dead. Good. But I won't forgive that Khajiit for Tyrael's death. Even if he does forgive me for the death of his wife. But I suppose there's been enough killing. Hmm. Fuck that. Rashada shouldn't have ever forgiven her for the death of his wife. Fuck that shit. Alright. Let's see, anything else around here? No. I wonder if they touch on any, any shit like that in Elsewhere. About, like, how Khajiit and other parts of Tamriel are, like, being subjected to slavery and shit. Right? Huh. Very interesting shit. Alright. Well, quest complete here for this place. You tracked down and killed a dangerous Khajiiti spirit. Sothram Plantation. Yeah, I, I had no idea that... It totally made sense that a lot of the Khajiit would be all about, like, I don't know, necromancy and stuff. Especially given the allegory or analogies. Allegories? The nah, comparisons to ancient Egyptian shit, right? Very interesting. Let's take some corn flour. Cool. Okay. Now, before we call it, we should head back to town, shouldn't we? Let's take this thing. And then we'll warp back to town to buy some training, I think, for our mount. Because we need to keep in mind that we need to continue to train up and all that. Okay, let's head over here. Davin's watch, good. All right. As always, of course, feel free to add me in this game if you're playing on the North American servers or whatever. I do not mind. All right, and where's the stable dude at? Oh, over here. Okay. This side. Good, good, good. I think maybe we'll finish out the story stuff in this area. In Stonefalls, is it? Yeah, in Stonefalls before we continue on with the main quest. Well. Okay. Can you believe it? Dragons. Stable in dude. Your own right homeland. here. What are you going to do? This one does not know, but he hopes oh. his family is safe in Riverhold. Hey, speaking of elsewhere, I guess that's like their prologue teaser quest or whatever for it. We race fine horses in Davin's Watch. 
All right, let's get speed, I guess. There we are. Cool. All right. Well, when Gavin's next we come back, we will overrun. continue on with our fun adventures and all that inside of ESO land, getting acquainted with all this stuff. Probably go back to streaming uh, every weekend at the very least, right? Probably maybe a bit more here and there, but definitely try and fit it in on weekends, right? Now that I've finished The Last of Us. Yeah, should be good. All right, cool. Until next time, please. <laughs> well, I guess, yeah, it's hard to say that when, when you know, it can't just e end it, like, instantly, like like that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks to Seven Stars for the Prime sub. That really helps a lot. Thanks to folks who followed in the interim. I'm not sure who did or did not. So I think maybe Newton's Fourth, C Daz 150, and Bosworth. Like Bowser, except the letters are a little interchanged there. Yeah, thank you nonetheless. All right, cool. Yeah, when next we come back, more Stonefalls and all that good stuff, right? Okay, good night and goodbye, or good morning, or whatever time it is. Probably, especially if you're watching the archives, right? Oh yeah, of course, the archive channel, that exists. You can find a link to that below. There's the main YouTube channel, all that good stuff, right? I think I still have an archival, an older one to put up. Right? I should probably do that after this. <laughs> All right. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Goodbye. Please be safe. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>